So we are doing the Lewis structure of ammonia. So in order to do the Lewis structure, the first thing we do is count the valence electron. So nitrogen belonging to group 5 has 5 valence electron. Hydrogen belongs to group 1, it has 1 valence electron. So the number of total valence electrons will be 3 plus 5, that's equal to 8. Step 2 is decide on the central atom. And the central atom in this case will be nitrogen. So once the central atom is decided, we have to draw the skeleton of the molecule. I have one nitrogen and three hydrogen. So we will just write down nitrogen bonded to three hydrogens as shown. The step four will be finding the lone pairs. And we have bond electrons from three bonds. I have six electrons. And lone electrons, a valence electron minus bond electron is six. That's two. So we have one lone pair on ammonia. And uh, remember that lone electrons means is the number of electrons. Lone pair is the pair of electrons. So after we find the lone pair, we need to calculate the formal charge. Formal charge is calculated based on the valence electrons, the lone electrons and the number of bonds. And therefore, the formal charge on nitrogen is zero. Formal charge on hydrogen is also equal to zero. And uh, after calculating the formal charge, we have to predict what will be the uh, shape. In order to do that, we need to find out the hybridization of the molecule. So let's count the electron groups on nitrogen. So in ammonia, the nitrogen being the central atom, the electron groups uh, will be three hydrogens around it and one lone pair around it. Therefore, we have three bond pairs and one lone pair. Therefore, it's an AB4 type molecule with a sp3 hybridization. So a molecule with an sp3 hybridization will have a tetrahedral uh, electron domain geometry and because of the presence of one lone pair the molecular geometry is not going to be the same as the electron domain geometry so the electron domain geometry as i said is tetrahedral and the molecular uh, geometry or the shape of the molecule is called as trigonal pyramidal so let's just sum it up what we have for ammonia so ammonia has a Lewis structure as shown there and has an sp3 hybridized central atom and has an electron domain geometry of tetrahedral and a molecular geometry of trigonal pyramidal and because of the presence of lone pair the bond angle is smaller than the tetrahedral bond angle just like water but this is little larger than that of water so it will be in between the bond angle of water and the uh, general tetrahedral bond angle.